There will soon be a new way to take off from the Norfolk Airport. Allegiant Airlines announced three nonstop flights to Florida beginning this fall. Today on your side, Stephanie Harris spent the day looking into the discount carrier, and she joins us now. Okay, Steph, <laughs> what's this about a tweet earlier today for $39 flights to Florida? Yeah, absolutely, but you got to act fast. As part of their big announcement, Allegiant is offering those cheap tickets to Orlando, the Tampa St. Pete area, and Fort Lauderdale. The catch is. You have to buy the tickets over the next two days and you have to fly by February. It is really a great way for the company to get people talking and to get their name out. I also looked into their reputation. Sitting in the airport can be pretty boring, but this morning, <laughs> something pretty exciting for some travelers. Allegiant is pleased to announce this morning that we are bringing our unique brand of low cost air service to the Norfolk Airport with not one, but three nonstop routes to Florida. The small airline that already operates out of Richmond boasts low fares. The average one way fare in our system is around $75. They also waive or discount fees for the military. And for the next two days, you can book a flight to Florida for just 39 bucks. $39. Wow. Maybe we should go there. Sabrina Lee says cost keeps her family afore grounded and driving to most destinations. She, like others we talked to, are excited to learn more. What do you know about Allegiant Airlines? I don't know much about it. Allegiant is relatively unknown locally, so 10 on your side did some digging. We found the FAA reported eight Allegiant Air LLC incidents in 2016, ranging from an emergency landing to a blown tire during takeoff and turbulence that caused injuries. Allegiant did take steps to address those problems. At Allegiant, safety is always, always has been, and always will be our number one priority. They're on the lower end of the American Consumer Satisfaction Index, but climbing. ACSI ranks Allegiant 7 out of 10 based on customer questionnaires about things like baggage handling, check-in process, and complaints. But they took off, gaining 9% over last year, higher than any other airline. Now, the biggest complaint I found online is the airline has a strict no-refund policy on flights and fees. Now, Allegiant explained that's because they never overbook like other airlines do, and that is one way they control costs. So if somebody cancels or just doesn't show up, they lose money. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.